Hi everyone. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to deploy your Li'i files to your server or serverless function. And we're going to connect by syncing Pub.ly to your source of hosting because in this manner, whatever changes or edits you do to your website, it will be automatically synced to your hosting service or your serverless provider. First, we're going to use the FTP tool that Publi e provides, and then we're going to use the Netlify tool that Publi e also provides, and see how you connect your website to these providers. And finally, we'll do a quick GT metric speed test comparing the, the two exact websites on these two different platforms and see what the results are. Now before we start, Publi.ly provides excellent documentation and as we look at the server docs, it breaks down each method that you want to use to deploy your file. So you can read over each one and you probably already know what uh, platform you're going to host your file so you can go over these documentations to familiarize yourself on the process for a smooth and seamless transition. In our first example we'll be using the file transfer protocol or FTP to move your files to your hosting server. Okay let's set up our FTP settings in found information you get from your web host, your URL, your port. Normally I would use FTP Secure for production or online website, but this is only a test site, a staging site on a plain old share host, so I'm just using FTP. And the following credentials you get from your web host. I have HD docs, but normally you would probably use public HTML for your on your particular web host. And when everything's set up, you can test your connection by hitting test connection. And we'll go through that process next. To test if our web host is connected to our computer, on the bottom click test connection. And if the connection to your web host is successful, you will see this message. Okay, everything is looking good so far. Since your connection has been established, now you are ready to load your files to your server. So in the bottom left hand corner, click on Sync Your Website. Once you click Sync Your Website, a timeline will appear and the amount of time it takes to upload all your files will depend on how huge your website is and your internet speed. When all your files have been successfully uploaded to your server, you should see this message stating that all your files have been successfully uploaded to your server. This should bring a smile to your face and take a look at your website to see how it looks. Next we're going to deploy our website to Netlify, a serverless platform and we'll be using the free or starter version. First of all, you need to have a Netlify account. If you already do, you're good to go. If you don't, you need to go to Netlify.com and sign up for a free or starter account. Now if you have questions on how to set up Netlify and Publi.ly, you can go to the Publi.ly docs and it has a step-by-step a step -step process of exactly what you need to do to set up Publi.ly so it can be connected to Netlify. So I suggest you kind of read over it before you go through the process. Once you're inside your Netlify settings and ready to set it up, all the information can be found within your Netlify account. And when you are ready, hit test connection to test if your connection to Netlify is ready to be synced. On completion of your test, 
This message should appear if your connection to your server is successful. Now you are ready to deploy your website to Netlify. And all you have to do is sync your website. Click the sync your website button. A website synchronization timeline will now appear. And the time it will take to deploy your complete website files to Netlify will be determined by the size of your files and the speed of the internet provider. When all your files have been successfully uploaded to your server, you should see this message stating that all your files have been successfully uploaded to your server. Now that I have my website loaded on a hosting service and also on a serverless platform like Netlify, Let's run a quick speed test to compare the results. First, let's check out my website that I loaded on my... This is basically a shared host where I use it as a test staging platform. And as you can see, results are very respectable. For, you know, my basic blog nothing in yellow red orange all green across the board the web vitals are all within specs now let's test the exact same website in netlify on the serverless platform as gt metrics analyzes this particular website and as you can see the results are even better 99.99% web vitals are way well in, within the specs. Everything green. Total load time is even faster. As you can see, just uh, using a different platform to host my website does make a big difference. In conclusion, this comparison test shows that any static site generator is going to be fast. And Publii is fast. No matter where you host it, it's going to run fast. So hopefully this tutorial helps and there will be more coming down the road.